Everybody, this is Rich down here with, on the Long River, Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a rub review on some flat iron steaks we had sitting around. So, our rub today we're going to use is a TXQ rub by Lou Castro down in Brownsville, Texas. I'll leave a link, I'll leave a, a website in the description box. We're going to go ahead and get these steaks sprinkled up and seasoned up. We'll leave it sweat for a little while, then we'll get back to you. All right, we're back, and we're outside. While this stove pipe is firing up for our Weber kettle, what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Lou Castro and his rubs. Lou Castro comes from Brownsville, Texas. Um, he's a real nice guy. He advertises on my Facebook group. And me and him um, has conversed a little bit. And as far as I know, you know, these are authentic okay. Texas rubs. What we're using today on our steaks is we're using the 956 rub right here. This is good for any meat. And it has a really good earthy... Um, spicy, bold Texas smell to it. And what you use on uh, steaks and veggies is what we probably should have used on our steak, but I wanted to try the other one is a 214 rub. He uh, recommends this for vegetables. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that. And that's been sitting on the steaks inside the refrigerator for a couple hours. And you can check um, Lou Castro's products out at TXQ. Uh, rub.com and that's what called the TXQ rub 214 and TXQ rub 956 so guys check him out and we're gonna get this kettle up and we're gonna reverse sear these flat iron steaks and we'll get back to you um, here here directly stay tuned All right, guys, we're going to put these on a reverse sear. I mean, reverse sear, they're pretty hot. The grate's pretty hot. Good color on that rub. That's 750, yeah, 956 rub. We're going to reverse sear these to 112 degrees. And we'll put them on these nice little hot charcoals we got going on there. Shouldn't take long. All right, we're back. And these steaks are at 115 degrees. And what we're going to do is we're just going to place them over direct heat like this. Just like this. Woo! Boy, she's hot. So we're going to let them go for a couple minutes. Until we reach uh, medium rare, which I'm uh, hoping we hit these things about one uh, 135. We'll see you back on the cutting board. I told you I'd see a cutting board. We're going to go ahead and get done with this process. They've been cooking for about two and a half minutes. We're going to go ahead and just give them a little bit, give them the old flip, just like that. Do you see those or not? Looking pretty good. There you go. So they're over in the heat, doing their thing, and we'll catch them when we flip them. Everybody, these things are looking and smelling great. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip them. And we're gonna leave them char up on that side. We'll see you on the cutting board. After a 10 minute rest, and look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. Should be the temperature we want. We'll go ahead and get in here. I'll make sure this is the temperature that we need, we want to get into. Now it's a little over. Where the flame is pretty hot. A little over. But I'm sure it still tastes good. So we'll get back with you with a taste test. And we have our, we're ready for our taste test. I'm a little disappointed that I overcooked it, but 
Yeah, can't nail it every time, I don't guess. We'll go ahead and get in here. Still tender. Still very tender. So we got a little pink to it. A little pink there. Looks so good. it looks it looks good, smells good. I'll tell you what, that uh that 956 rub uh TXQ uh, Lou Castries, man, it smells real good. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. That's real good. Wow, you get the the grill, the seasoning, the sweet, the salt, boldness. Wow, that's good. Have to mean everybody, man, it's so tender too. Mmm. Oh wow, the salt and the salt really sets off the beef. Mm. Guys, if you have a chance, try out TXQ rubs by Lou Castro, 956, 214 rub. I'll leave his links in the description box to hit show more. Man, these flat irons are pretty good. Even though they're a little over, nice flavor. Terrific. Still going. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. We have a little bit of a little technical difficulty there. Battery's going to die on the phone. I'll knock this out quick. Check it out. Leave his link in the description box. Hit show more. All my affiliate links are in there. Hit show more as well. Guys, share like it. Like it. Just subscribe. Share with your friends and family when you do. Tell them the best barbecue comes from the river. See you on the next one.